reach out to seller support and explain to them the situation and leave like retail contribution out. They'll come back and say that there's a retail contribution on your listing and then they'll close my case. <laughs> okay. Selling on Amazon is not passive income, which is why you're here listening to me. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. In clips like you'll see today, we talk to Amazon sellers and ask them about the pains they experience. We offer solutions. We talk about PPC, SEO, design, and catalog troubleshooting. Enjoy. Curtis, welcome to the show. Hi, Steve. Uh, thanks for having me. Thank you for your time and your knowledge today. Uh, so two quick things for you. Retail contributions. We By the are... way, I like your Christmas decorations. You're festive and behind the scenes there. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, certainly try here. Uh, me and my coworker were like, we got to deck the halls here at the office. There you go. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, retail contributions. Um, things yeah. are pretty steady with us for a while. We are brand registered. We are the manufacturer of all our products. And one example that I just ran into today, a bunch of our leather wallets, uh, the titles got completely wiped and we're just set back to like a generic, like say, for example, um, we have leather wallets that have scripture on them and we have a full length, take advantage of all the characters in the titles. And then I, I go back to look at the wallets today and there's literally just genuine leather wallet with a Bible verse on there. And our title is gone, but it is appearing on the back end. I'm unable to Can update it questions? via. Yeah. Vendor central or seller? Seller central. Okay. Uh, are there any other secondary sellers? There are. Okay. Are you the brand owner? We are. Are you brand registered? We are. Okay. Are you willing to share the listing so I can look at it? If not, it's totally okay. I understand some people don't want to share stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, I certainly can. The only thing is that I had issues um, logging into the video on my computer, mm -hmm. so I'm on my phone right now. No problem. I can look it up manually. So what we're going to do, uh, tell me what to type in. Yeah, if you just want, you want to just type in the ASIN, would that be easiest for you? Either way. Okay, uh, B for boy, 007. M for Mike, D for Dan, B for boy, S for Sam, A for Adam, four. All right. So first of all, 400 reviews. Congratulations. All five star average, 4.8. That's You're living the dream on, on that. That's great. All right. The next question I was going to ask, which is why I just decided to show the listing, is is it parented? And it, and is. it is. So I believe that the parentage is probably the area we need to investigate and it's okay. probably the root cause. Okay. Uh, so when we look at others, there's only one other seller on the listing. Uh, the other thing I was going to ask you is if you had loaded this data to Canada. To Canada, no. I recommend that you go download the CLR report in Canada. That's the category listings report in Canada. And I want you to compare the data between Canada and the United States. Interesting, okay. And as a heads up, I've got a hard stop in 10 minutes. So we'll do five with Curtis and five with David and you guys will be the last today. Um, so I think I think that the 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 eighty percent chance this is a parentage issue, twenty percent chance this is data conflict issue. I don't believe it's a so you 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 are zeroing in on the retail contribution issue, and if it's if it's that, it could be that the retail contribution is coming from an alternative source, and that source could be a secondary seller, the seller of record, or Canada. Okay. okay? And, and so go check on Canada. Now, is there a reason you brought up the retail contribution? Was there like a ticket where Amazon said you weren't the retail contribution? It has happened in the past. And whenever I've asked them to, um, when, when they've told me that, there been, uh, that there's been a retail contributor in the past, nine times out of 10, it's usually because of a retail contribution when we've had these issues before. I haven't had this issue come up in a while, but when I do reach out to seller support and explain to them the situation and leave like retail contribution out, they'll come back and say that there's a retail contribution on your listing and then they'll close my case. <laughs> okay. So, so, so they did use that. They, they brought that language up with you. They have. Not you bring it up with them. Yeah. 
Okay. So, the, so the reason why I, I'm going to zero in on why I think it's a parentage issue. And if it's not that, it's definitely the retail contribution like you talked about. It's, th this is going to be a super either or binary. It's one or the other issue. If it's the parentage, it's because the title from the parent is overriding the child's. And you're in a category where I've seen this happen. And I, I sell in this category myself. I have a Lily Posh brand and I also have Holster brand called Holstit. And so my question for you is, is this contribution issue happening on the entire parentage or just one skew in particular like this one? It's, it's happening on a few skews, actually. Some of those titles that you saw there are in fact, correct. They need to be updated, but the ones that you see in full, some of them are in full, and then some of them aren't. Some a bunch of them are so, truncated. So, so to be clear, it's not the whole parentage affected. R exactly. Okay. That's correct. In my experience, if it was a parentage issue, it's the entire parentage. So I went for my okay. 80 20 on this, and I'm now thinking the opposite. I, I'm now aligned with your conclusion that you had coming into this, that it's a retail contribution issue. So you need to figure out, and, and by the way, if it was a parentage issue, the way you could test it is by destroying the parentage and, re, and, and leaving them separated, see if it fixed the title. And if it did, then I'm right. It's parentage. So right. if you want to test that theory, remove one of the broken skews out of the parentage and test the theory. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's worth trying. Yeah, it's probably not that based on our conversation, but but I think you should test it if you can't get it fixed any other way. So so on the retail contribution, the way to solve that is by to ask them to use your seller contribution. And I would file brand registry tickets. You've already told me that your seller contribution is reflecting on the back end. Uh, one follow up question. Do you have the UPC field in the GTIN field? We do. Okay. So that, and that shows up on the back end as well, correct? That is correct. Okay. So if it's a retail contribution issue, it can come from one of multiple locations. One, Vendor Central. Two, the catalog team, which is basically a Vendor Central light team that just manually overrode it and did whatever they wanted. Three, an alternative seller for an alternative marketplace attached to the ASIN on Amazon, i.e. Canada, or five, it's coming from your own data. So to the, the last one's the easiest one to rule out. All you got to do, copy the ASIN into your back end, look at the back end data. If you have a duplicate SKU, check that one as well. You'll probably rule that one out in like 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, and make sure your UPC is loaded. So with all of that said, have you filed brand registry tickets? In the past, yes. For these particular products, not yet. Because I just noticed this today. Okay. When you filed brand registry tickets in the past for whichever SKU had an issue, did it fix it? Not every time. They're very inconsistent okay. over there, just like they are in seller support. Yeah. So sometimes it works. Okay. Exactly. So, <laughs> so I got to wrap with you in the next 30 seconds here. Um, what I would recommend doing is brand registry tickets, ask them to use your seller contribution, say I have the brand registry, use my seller contribution, and and in the reply to the ticket when they give you the blanket no, give them a picture of the item on your cell phone mm -hmm. and say, seriously, I need you to update the title, here's a picture of my product, or even better, give them the manufacturer URL. Yes, we've done that. And then I've even given them batch IDs too with all the correct information. Yeah. It, I, I don't think you have a data issue. I, I think you nailed it. I think you have a retail contribution you need to override. So so showing them your data and the batch IDs, it's not a terrible idea, but it probably won't help. I think you just need to throw man hours at filing brand registry tickets to ask them to update the title. It's I, I think your solution is, is as simple as that. So really? feel free. Okay. So let me know how that goes. Send me an email to podcast at myamazonguy.com and update me a few days from now. I would love to hear how it goes. And if I and if I if you don't have any success, I'll I'll give you a couple further tips. Sound good, Curtis? Sounds good. I appreciate your time, Steve. Thank you so much. Slam that like and subscribe button and join me every Thursday, noon Eastern Standard Time, where you can watch Amazon sellers come on camera and ask me literally any question live. We'll see you then.